Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So I want to give you an example today of what real selling out looks like in the survival gear marketplace. So let's get to it. All right, so when I come across these posts on Instagram and Facebook, it reminds me of how little the average person knows about emergency preparedness. See, we live in the prepping bubble and we presume that just because we know a lot about prepping and survival gear, everybody else knows an equivalent amount or at least a basic amount. But the truth is, the vast majority of people have absolutely no idea about the basics of emergency preparedness. And if you're starting a prepping channel on YouTube, that should be a positive for you. Because what I'm going to show you today is a perfect example of of how very little and uneducated people are when it comes to survival gear. And I'm talking like 90% of people. And this is evidenced in the high amount of likes, the comments that these posts get, the positive feedback, and the complete lack of critical feedback. Now, I'm not gonna call out the specific profiles who are pushing this crap because some of them are very big and I don't wanna attract that kind of heat on me directly. But these guys have well over 100,000 followers on Instagram. They show all sorts of nice pictures of people out in the wilderness doing their thing. And they intersperse it with these ads for these products which are complete and utter garbage. I want to say that again. This stuff is complete and utter crap. Now is it better than nothing? Arguably no because if somebody's using this instead of paying a bit more for an actual good survival kit then they could potentially be putting themselves in danger so you've probably seen this kit it's been circulating the web hundreds of thousands of these things have been sold to suckers all over the world and you can see here they're marketing it as 75% off how else are they marketing it oh yeah they they say that this is worth hundred and ten dollars and it's marked down to twenty nine dollars and oh, did I mention that there's only, I don't have the actual picture here, but they also were using the scarcity principle of marketing, indicating that there's only a certain amount left, so you better get one while supplies last. That whole BS. Now, what do we have in this survival kit here? Well, we have one of these cheap credit card multi-tools that you're pretty much going to use for absolutely nothing. And how do I know this stuff is crap? Well, I've bought a lot of it off of Amazon out of curiosity before, so I can pretty much tell you 100% that this is crap. Okay, so you got the credit card multi-tool. We know that's crap. Looks like we got some kind of whistle there. Okay, I mean, that could be potentially useful. It's a whistle. It is what it is. You have this little mini LED keychain flashlight. You have, uh, which is probably worth, you know, 50 cents. And you have this other flashlight here, which may be pushing 100 lumens, if you're lucky. I've bought one of these flashlights. I think three years ago, they were selling for two bucks each on Amazon, of all places. So just imagine how much you can get these things for on eBay. And you can pretty much guarantee that all of this stuff is made of the scrappiest of junk metals that uh, get recycled into this crap. Then you have a compass, which I'm betting is probably not that reliable. You get a knife, which is a knife. It's better than nothing. You get a Kubaton style tactical pen. And of course you get a Phariseum rod, which, you know, that's probably the best thing in the kit, to be honest. And of course it comes in this plastic case. So let's read what the specs have to say on this thing. So materials made of stainless steel and metal. Metal. That's how specific they get. That's a little too specific, guys. I think you could just be a little bit more vague than metal. Uh, high quality for durable and long-lasting use. That's, again, that's so vague, it doesn't matter. Easy to clean and stow. What does that mean? <laughs> Ten pieces complete and various tools meet most of survival requirements outside. So you can clearly see that this wasn't even written by an English person lightweight and proper size for portable carry because they know what proper size is anti-rust and corrosion resistant with sturdy design absolute bs all this stuff is probably going to be rusted out within a week or sitting outside for a day i bet 
Perfect SOS tool for hiking, hunting, biking, climbing, traveling, and emergency camping, and selling to people who know absolutely nothing about emergency preparedness. Now let's see, I'm not going to name the name of the company because again, I don't want to bring any heat on myself. We're just going to call them Crappy Company is an outdoor lifestyle company that strives to deliver premium goods at affordable prices to adventurers across the world. Yeah, you really think that any right-minded adventurer, anybody who's going to be going anywhere important is not going to be putting this $30 crap survival kit into their kit and actually relying on it with any degree of confidence we believe that having the right tools and necessities is integral to outdoor preparation and fun oh well maybe then you would actually be promoting quality products and not this crap and our goal is to be an enabler of that fun by saving you time and money see they don't even care if you go out there into the wilderness and you're relying on this stuff and it breaks down and it gets you hurt or at worst uh, potentially leads to your demise join us on our journey as we supply inspire and create memories oh you're going to create a lot of memories all right because as i learned in uh, university unpleasant memories are far more memorable than pleasant ones and you're going to have a whole lot of unpleasant memories with this crap due to high demand bs please allow 12 to 20 days for shipping no that's because they're going to ship it by the slowest shipping method possible and that's just shipping that remember that's not delivery that means 20 days for shipping and it's probably going to take another two months to get to your place because they're using the cheapest shipping methods possible from the deepest darkest crevasse of some sweatshop in china to your living room in about three months if you're lucky to even get it so guys don't fall for this crap but here's the the terrible thing about this is is that when I first checked on this, it was only posted for about an hour and it already had 700 likes and people commenting on how cool it looks and how awesome it was. And it just goes to show how uneducated and how you really should be valuing the high quality gear reviewers that we have here on YouTube. Guys like Living Survival, like Prepared Mind 101, like uh, City Prepping, drop forward survival an excellent channel that i would encourage you to go and subscribe to like the urban prepper like myself people like survival lily who effectively demonstrate bushcraft skills and may intersperse quality product reviews within that even the ultimate survival tips guy when he was in his gerber heyday has a hundred times more integrity than this kind of crap which cares absolutely nothing about the consumer number one they're a faceless brand so they're totally unaccountable they have no liability if something goes wrong whereas a gear review on youtube who puts their blood sweat and tears into making you uh, quality gear reviews and they're doing it for pennies uh, gear reviewers do not make a lot of money a lot of people still have this delusion that uh, you know you're filthy rich if a company sends you a knife and you sell a few knives well the commission on those knives is usually pretty low and the commission on anything really is, is quite low it's not enough to to live off of in itself and nobody's living high on the hog even the highest ranking channels in this genre are not making a whole heck of a lot they're just making a living that's what they're doing and i can tell you with 100 percent certainty that all the channels i listed off including my own take pride in bringing you reviews of quality products and so for all of you who complain about me going on about the bug out rule in silky saws well let me tell you something that gear is high quality gear it's gear that i use so that's the difference between selling out and i need to constantly reiterate this point because we're kind of in an echo chamber here a, a lot of you guys who've been watching this channel and who are in the community for a long periods of time you don't understand that 90 percent of people are not as sophisticated as you when it comes to survivalist gear i mean you would be surprised just bring up a conversation about anything knives uh flashlights water purification anything like that with the average person and you would be surprised at how little they know 
about emergency preparedness and this should be encouraging to anybody like i say who's starting a youtube channel and thinks that it's all been done who thinks that the genre is saturated well i'm telling you right now it isn't there's a lot of people who still need to be provided this information so they don't get duped into buying this kind of crap so no prepping is not dead it's not even arguably in its infancy yet when the overwhelming majority of the population is going to succumb to marketing gimmicks like this you know that there's a lot of work yet to be done a lot of work we haven't even scratched the surface with regards to spreading the word next time you go and you comment on one of these youtube channels because uh some company sent them something to review just remember that they're putting their face out there they're putting their reputation on the line unlike these companies who hide behind these anonymous social media profiles and just milk people for the money that's all they care about they don't care about whether or not the gear is going to break down for you in the field whether or not you're going to be actually satisfied with it down the road they don't care we sincerely care and when i say we i mean myself and the aforementioned gear reviewers and probably dozens if not hundreds of others because i can tell you there's very few gear reviewers on the platform who are just out to make a buck and are going to promote anything at the expense of their reputation that's the thing people don't realize with youtube is that if you're seeing somebody and they're putting their face out there and they're trying to build up a channel they're not going to be promoting crap there's no interest in them promoting garbage and you know i'll always get comments on this channel about the bug out roll and how it's so expensive and it's because these guys who are selling this crap have people convinced that anything you know should cost less than twenty dollars and it should be you know be able to get the job done they they don't care about quality all they care is to tell you that it's made out of metal and that it's gonna last you a long time i mean they don't care to give you any of the specifications uh, people don't realize how hard it is to cut and sew the 30 gauge vinyl that we use for the bug out rules that's uv and cold crack resistant and the cordera we source it's not just uh bs cordera it's real deal cordura and we don't even put the cordura logo on our stuff but we probably should because we use more of it in each bug out roll than a lot of bags use which are like expedition uh, size backpacks we use that much material in the bug out roll we use six number 10 ykk zippers most $500 jackets don't have a number 10 YKK zipper on them. That's the integrity that my company has. And when contrasted with this complete garbage, I can rant like this with 100% confidence, knowing, and the peace of mind, the peace of mind that's most important to me, knowing that when you take something like a bug out roll or a silky saw, or a fat rope stick, um, an energy Kodiak, a power film, solar panel, all of that stuff into the field that it's gonna be reliable and it's gonna be with you for years to come. I can sleep well at night because I actually care about the consumer. So anyways, that's all I got for you today. I'm sorry this rant went on a lot longer than expected, but this is something that needed to be said. Oh, and one other thing. There is this guy on Facebook who calls himself the Canadian Prepper who has clearly uh, been playing on the success of my channel over the last year or so when I wasn't on Facebook and pretending to be my channel and or sorry pretending to be me in a sense and the reason why I know this is because I went on the Facebook page and I followed him and I wrote on that page notifying people that this was not the Canadian prepper that you think it is because many of the comments were like hey we like your YouTube channel yada yada and there was no attempt by this guy to remove that or anything like that and he even blocked me 
after I had wrote that. And then this guy has plans to make a store. And the stuff he's posting is probably a little bit controversial too, so I don't want it to be associated with me. Thankfully, with the support of my subscribers, I've already tripled the amount of followers that I have in this short month or two that I've been on Facebook. So I just want to make sure there's no confusion. The Canadian Prepper on Facebook is not me. My Facebook profile is Canadian Prepper. I'm going to post a link. You can go and you can like the page if you so choose. Check it out. If you like me going on rants like this, I don't mind tearing up other survival gear. Anytime I see crappy survival gear, I'm going to go after it. And I'm going to make a video like this. And so if you want to send me, you know, a link to something that you think is garbage that's being pushed on people who don't know a whole lot, send it my way and we'll make sure that we do a nice friendly little expose in a way which is completely legal. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Canadian Prepper out.